I mean, thank you. Sister asked the question, wouldn't the world assume Muslims to be terrorists against their own brothers and sisters in Syria? That is a political war. That's a political war. In Islam, and as you said, Shia, Sunni, in Islam, there are no sects. If you read the Quran, there is no Shia Sunni in the Quran, sister. Quran does not talk about Shia Sunni. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 103, Wa tasimu bihablillahi jamia wala tafarraku. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. Allah says, Hold to the rope of Allah, that is the glorious Quran, and the Sai Hadith, and be not divided. Allah says in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 159, that, O Prophet, anyone who makes sex in the name of Islam, you have nothing to do with him. Allah will take care of his affairs. So making sex in Islam is haram. Anyone who makes sex in the religion of Islam, he is going against the Quran and against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What fights you see in countries like Syria or other parts of Pakistan, different sects fighting among themselves, this is totally prohibited. In Islam, there is no sect. Making sex in Islam is haram. What was the beloved Prophet? Was he Shia? Was he Sunni? He was a Muslim. So Muslim means a person who submits his will to God and follows the Quran and the authentic hadith. Anyone who deviates from this path is not a good practicing Muslim. So if all the Muslims read the Quran and come closer to Quran and Sunnah, Inshallah we will be again top of the world. Today Muslims are down because we have gone away from Quran and Sunnah. You should read the translation of the Quran and read the Sahih Hadith and Inshallah Muslim will be on top of the world.